right, let's do urine dipstick test. Uh, so first of all, make sure you are gloved and your gown. And we have to get the urine sample. What kind of sample we should take? We should take uh, midstream urine sample. So patient has passed few drops of urine and then you collect the sample. All right. Sometimes they might ask like, can we collect in another container and then shift it to this container? That won't work because you have to take sterile sample, right? Midstream urine sample. And make sure when you are doing the urine dipstick test, uh, you can again check the uh, patient's name, uh, date of birth and other things, the identity of the patient. That's really important. Right, so in the urine, what are, what are the things that you should check? Number one is the color of urine you can check. So normal urine color is straw color, but if you see it's dark straw color, for example, it may be dehydration. If you see any blood, for example, so it could be hematuria, the reason could be a lot of things, problem in the kidneys or problem like say in the blood, a patient might have any stone as well. And if the urine color, for example, if it is orange, maybe patient is uh, taking rifampicin as well. So that's going to be very important. The color is very important. Second, you can check is the clarity. You can see if the urine is clear or not, right? Sometimes you see there is uh, uh, some cloudiness. So that could be a sign of uh, UTI, urinary tract infection. So that's really important. Another thing, so color we have checked, clarity we have checked. Third thing that you can check is the smell. So take it uh, like, I mean, put it a bit away and open it and then smell from a distance. See if it is like foul smelling. If it is foul smelling, it means it's again infection, urine tract infection. Sometimes you see the, sometimes you uh, smell it like a fruity smell or uh, a fruity smell could be like a DKA, diabetic ketoacidosis. So these are the things that you can check in the urine sample. Now, urine dipstick. So we have got this uh, bottle, urine dipstick. First thing that you will check in this, uh, that's going to be the expiry date. So you'll be able to find it here. It or not. And then there are lots of element that you can check in this uh, bottle. So you can see like you can check glucose, you have ketones, you have got specific gravity or density, then you have got blood, pH, protein, nitrites and leukocytes. So if the patient has got, for example, say any kind of diabetes, then glucose might be high. If patient is uh, having DKA, so you might see uh, ketones in the urine sample. If the patient is dehydrated, so you will see the specific gravity will change. If, for example, a patient has got any kidney problem, say uh, glomerulonephritis or maybe stone, so you might see the blood as well. Uh, pH, again, if uh, uh, the urine is acidic or alkaline in nature, then you may be able to see some changes in the pH as well. Protein, if patient has got a problem like say, uh, say late pregnancy, preeclampsia or kidney problems, so then you might see there are some proteins in the, in the urine sample. And nitrates and leukocytes, usually it will be elevated if it is infection, UTI, urinary tract infection, right? Now let's do the urine dipstick. Right, so now open the sample. You get one stick. So now what you have to do is you have to dip it and make sure all these squares are dipped into the urine sample and you have to do it just for a few seconds. And then we'll take it out and put it on this paper like this. On the paper. Now the question is for how long we have to wait. And to be very honest, uh, the answer is here. The answer is here uh, on the urine dipstick bottle. Read at exactly 60 seconds. Leukocytes 90 to 120 seconds. So you have to wait for 60 seconds. So if you have been given the watch or clock, for example, so after 60 seconds only, you will start reading it. All right, so make sure this urine dipstick, uh, you hold it this way. For example, it's 60 seconds done. Then you will start reading it. You'll start reading from down there, from glucose. See if glucose is high or ketones are high or there is any change in the density, blood or pH or protein or nitrites. Make sure before you start checking for leukocytes, it should be in total 90 to 120 seconds. To be honest, like when you start from down there after 60 seconds and when you reach to leukocyte, I think there will be extra 30 to 60 seconds, which is more than enough. All right. After you're done with this, then make sure you discard this uh, strip. You just uh, discard your gloves and gown as well. Right. Thank you.